Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today we are going to talk about engineering. But first, engineering is the process in Elite Dangerous that allows you to modify the attributes on those uh, thrusters, weapons, shields, etc., uh, etc., et to make them more resilient, do more damage, fly faster, etc., etc., etc. Engineers, which are a specialized group of NPCs that have bases ranging around the entirety of the galaxy. Each engineer has different unlock requirements and requires you to do different things for them to modify said piece of gear you would like to modify. The most common engineer you're going to most likely encounter in at least the first couple days of playing the game is going to be Mrs. Felicity Farseer. Mrs. Felicity Farseer is located in DCAT. DCAT is if you are in I Indie, if you're starting around the new player area and you're in I Indie, you will be roughly 128.07 light years away. If you're farther out, it will be a bit of a hike, but she is one of the first engineers you will unlock. After you have a key and explorer rank of at least scout or higher, she will message you, and then this, uh, her base, Farsi Incorporated, will be added to your map, and you can come visit her. When you come visit her, she will be one of the like eighth or ninth planning system, and she'll be at a planetary port. Like most engineers, all engineers have planetary bases since they were added with the Horizons update, which it right now has access to. As a result, you will land and you will visit Felicity Farseer. Felicity Farseer's specialty is FSDs, otherwise known as frame shift drives. Her engineering skills allow you to modify your FSD in such a way that gives you a better jump range. For example, with this ship, originally I had a jump range of about actually I had a jump range of about seven light years before modules had about eleven uh, light year jump range. Currently I have a G3 modification on my uh, FSD for the spaceship, so now I have a current jump range of roughly about twenty five point fifty eight light years or twenty six light years, which is pretty good in my opinion. So by using engineering, you can off, you can boost attributes on various modules. In general, with engineering and not just with Felicity Farseer, each engineer has specific unlock requirements. In the case of Felicity Farseer, you have to have that Spore Scout, uh, the Scout rank in exploring, and you have to give it one mega alloy as well. Uh, engineering your module is going to be the same for all engineers. The only thing that's going to be different is unlocking each engineer and the uh, materials you may need to modify certain modules. So to access an engineer's workshop, you're going to open up the standard system services map, uh, system services uh, screen. Go ahead and go to engineer's workshop, click on that. So with engineering, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Engineering comes in classes of grades, screen of your specializations. Uh, so Felicity Farseer specializes in surface scanners, engines, shield boosters, FSTs. Power plants, sense sensors, and that will be all for her. Uh, these little circles right here indicate grade. So, for example, this is a grade, a maximum grade three modification for your engine. You can only do a grade one modification for your shield boosters, a grade five modification for your FSD, because that's what she's known for. A grade one modification for your power plant, a grade three modification for your for your sensors. Again, each engineer has specific specialization and can focus on improving performance of specific module. If you would like to select what you like to work on, you just go up to the module you like to select. So in this case, it would be an FSD. You click on the FSD, give it a nice little screen, hit select, and then comes the engineering screen. screen on the left-hand side, what you will have is you will have the effects that can be applied to your module. So engineering comes with two different types of effects. You have your effects that can be applied, and then you have your experimental effects. So, for example, the standard effects in this case are going to be the monitoring. So, for example, the faster FSD boot sequence, the increased FSD ring, and finally the shielded FSD. The experimental effects are other effects that can be applied on top of the modification you are doing. So, for example, if you were modifying multi cans, there is actually an effect that will give you corrosive multi cans. An experimental effect, and it will show you. All the list of experimental effects you can add to a specific module. For example, thermal shred, uh, drive distributors, drag drives. This is actually one of the best ones for engines. Double brace and strip down are all the ones you can apply. The ones I can currently use are double brace and strip down because I have the materials. But since I do not have the materials for these guys, they will be listed in red. At the very top left of the thing, you will see the name of the engineer and your level of access. So the grade, 
sent you the notes, you have level access. So you have grade 4 access, that means you have access to uh, modifications up to grade 4. If you wanted to modify a grade 5 module, you would need to have grade 5 access to have access to a grade 5 modification. The best way to increase uh, the grade or reputation of the engineers is to simply modify a bunch of modules. And that brings us to the next part of the screen, the modification screen. It's created and what is lost and what is gained varies on a per module basis. So each effect will have different things as well. And again, you can also apply experiment effects. This screen. So when modifying a module, it does cost resources. These resources have to be farmed. Uh, there are two, generally three types. There's your manufacturing resources, like grid, res like grid resistors. There's your data resources, like eccentric hyperspace. Trajectories are weight scans. And then there's just your straight up physical materials, like iron, zinc, nickel, cobalt, vanadium. And there's a bunch of other ones that I'm missing as well. I will go into more detail how to acquire these materials later on. I come to this screen and you can modifier thing it will show you the current cost of the module versus the current amount of, uh, of materials you have so in this case if I wanted to perform this modification I would spend one grid resistor for one grade one uh, roll and then I would out of the nine I currently have however the higher level the grade is of the engineering modification the more cost there is associated with it so the grade one is always going to be the cheapest if you go up to grade 5, it costs more. For example, if you go up, it costs more. And in addition to that, if you do not have a, sp a specific material, you can hover over it. It will tell you where to find it. And it will also be highlighted in red, showing that you do not have it. Another thing I must mention, that if you want to apply effect, all you have to do is put the generate modification. This button, for example, and if you have a, I think you the best way to put this is you have a modification on a module already and you want to apply another modification that's not the one you already have on the module that will overwrite the modification so in my case I have the FSD increased range if I went for the faster FSD boot sequence it would overwrite the modification I currently have on the set module so we're not going to do that but normally if your module was not engineered you just click the modification button you wouldn't see that screen and you would be able to go on you would also be able to pin blueprints and in addition you can also add experimental effects on certain modules. Have much else, so thank you for watching.